Hola, buenos días chicos. Este es el primer video para ustedes de Unidad 5, lección 2. Y esta información está en paquete, página 11. So, paquete, page 11. Please make sure you write down as much information as you need in order to understand the information. And then make sure that you follow along until the end of the video. There is going to be something that I'm going to ask you to do to make sure that you're prepared for tomorrow. Verbos irregulares. These verbs do have regular verb endings, but they don't follow the normal pattern within the stem or the beginning part of the verb. So that's why we lump them all together. The first verb, decir. Decir is to say or to tell. Venir is to come to a place, as in come to school, come to my party. Poner is to put or to place, as in put things on the table. Um, put things out on the dresser, salir, to leave, traer, to bring, so think about like a waitress or a waiter bringing things on a tray, and dar, to give. Muy bien. This year is irregular in all of its forms except the nosotros and the vosotros form, so it kind of looks like a boot verb. It's a yo go and an e to i stem changing verb. Venir, the second verb, is very, very similar to tener and it also looks like a boot verb. Decir, when you change it, the most important part is going to be the o form. It's going to change from e to i. Digo, completely irregular, but then it's got the e to i change. The to form, again, e to i. Dices. El, e, usted, dice. And then because you're following the boot pattern, ellos, ellas, ustedes, dicen. Outside the boot, remember there is no e to i change, decimos. And vosotros, decís. Venir is almost exactly like tener. Really, you're just changing in the vosotros form, the nosotros form. And you're changing the v to, or the t to a v rather. It's a yo-go. It also is an e to an ie verb. The yo form is going to be irregular. So just like tener, instead of tengo, vengo. The to form inside the boot, vienes. El e usted viene. Also inside the boot, ellos, ellas, ustedes vienen. Outside the boot, it's not going to hang on to the E to IE. Venimos. Y vosotros venís. Almost exactly like tener. Other verbs are irregular only in the yo form. And I am using Miss Bainey's note sheet. I have no idea what she calls them. But they're not necessarily just yo goes because Dar doesn't follow that. On our notes, dar is dar una fiesta or darle de comer al perro. Again, it means to give. The yo form is going to be doy. And then it acts like a regular AR verb. So it has the re regular AR endings. Das, da. These are your endings. Damos, dais, and dan. Make sure you fill in the ones that I'm not writing down for you. Poner, to set the table, to put or to place objects. Again, that one's only going to be special in the yo form. And the yo form, form, pongo. Then it's going to act like a regular verb. Ponen, pones. Don't forget your accent in the vosotros. Ponemos. The last two verbs, salir and traer, again, are only irregular for the most part in the yo form. The yo form of salir, salgo. And then it acts like a normal verb. Sale. Salen. Salis, because it's an IR verb. Salimos. And make sure you fill in the two form. Trier is a yo-go verb as well, so it's going to end in go, but you do add an extra vowel. Trigo. Then the two form. Traes. Trae. 
make sure that you're pronouncing and you're writing every single vowel. Remember that vowels in Spanish are always pronounced unless you have an accent on one and then you emphasize one over the other. Traemos. Traes. Oh, that M does not want to stay put. And then traen. Fantastico. Make sure that you take a look at packet page 12 and go over numbers 1 through 6 before class when this is due. Adios!